Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Yesterday, Cardi B went on Instagram Live and she put a woman on blast for sliding in her husband Offset's DMs. So let me tell you what happened, right? So about, I'll say two weeks or a week ago. Like, like a week ago, right? My my husband, he, po he posted, um, he posted a video, you know, an Insta story, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably about two weeks ago. So my husband posted a a video, right? And some girl hit him up on the DM, like being flirtatious. And my man, he shows it to me, and he's like, "Babe, who is this?" And I'm like, "Oh, this is such and such. Uh, this is such and such baby baby mom, right?" And I was like, "She's messy." And he's like, oh, okay, because this nigga really don't be on the, he don't really be, you know, he don't really be in the, he don't really be on the, on internet, he, he don't really be on the internet like that. My baby kind of lost sometimes, he kind of lost sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, that's this and that baby mom, and it's like, and it's like, oh, I will whoop her ass and all that shit. So you know I'm talking my shit, but it's like, you know, she's trying to be flirtatious on the, on the DM. And then today, I see that such and such. The girl that was on the DM, she is chilling with somebody that I don't f with, somebody that I don't like, somebody that is also messy. And then I'm like, yo, babe, look at that. The girl that was on your DM is is hanging around with the uppity up up. And then we just out here dying laughing because it's just like, yo, bitches are so miserable. Like bitches, they don't only hate on your success, right? They don't only hate on your success. They don't only hate that like like your career you have an amazing career they really hate on your life they hate on your marriage they don't want they don't want to see you happy at all they don't they don't even give a fuck about they don't really give a fuck about trying to destroy your career they really want to destroy your marriage destroy your happiness and it's just like babe i'm glad and me and my man we was just talking about it like i'm just glad that it's like i know that a lot of people Seeing the problems that me and Offset have before, you know, it ain't no secret. And I'm just glad that we are in a point in our life and in our marriage that we have grew with each other. We have grown. We have learned each other. We talk to each other. We have literally become, it's more than a marriage. It's more than passion, right? It's more like a, like a best friend thing, like. We just talk to each other. We just talk to each other more. We honest with each other all the time. We love each other. We support each other, and it's just like we be laughing at bitches together. <laughs> and y'all bitches really be trying it. Y'all really be trying it. Y'all y'all really thought y'all was gonna catch motherfuckers slipping on this side and you want to know what's so sad about it? What babe? What we was talking about? Like it's like these are not young bitches. These are not bitches in their 20s. These are grown ass bitches. Mid 30 ass bitches. And it's just like, yo, I can never. I, I, I pray to God that I never have that type of hatred, that type of pettiness, that type of corniness, that type of time in my heart when I'm a little bit older. I don't, first of all, I'm not even like that right now. I'm not even like that right now because when you try to destroy something, that's when karma hits. You don't want to know something. Sometimes you could, sometimes you could, you could have a certain type of beef and animosity on people, right? And that's because y'all don't get along with each other. But when you try to destroy things, when you try to hurt things on purpose, not just because you have to, but on purpose, you know, sometimes you really gotta, you really gotta get to the enemy before they get to you. When you try to do things on purpose, God fucking, God really punish y'all. But, but the way that I be seeing how you bitches be living, I see it. He do be punishing y'all. That's why y'all bitches living how y'all living. Cause y'all are malicious. Y'all have a dirty black heart. Y'all got a fucked up heart. And y'all really tried it. Y'all really tried it y'all really tried the oh i'ma have my bitch slide on her nigga dm hey fuck out of here <laughs> that shit is so crazy how we really we caught that shit we caught that shit red handed mm -hmm. red handed cut your ass cut your ass i know
Caught it right out too. Caught it right out too. Caught it right peep out. Gang, we peep gang man. Peep gang man. Peep gang man. Now in the video, Cardi did not mention who the woman actually was, but it later on came out that it was actually Future's baby mama, Eliza Rain, who slid into Offset's DMs. Now I do have to give credit to the Armand Wiggin show on YouTube because he was the first to talk about this and I watched his video and one of his callers speculated that it may have been Eliza Rain who slid into Offset's DMs. Now what's interesting about all of this is Eliza was hanging out with Cardi's nemesis, Ra Ali. So Cardi thought that Ra was the one who may have put Eliza up to slide it in Offset's DMs. Y'all really tried the, oh, I'ma have my bitch slide on her nigga DM. Ha! F*** outta here. We caught that sh red. Mm -hmm. So from the hints that Cardi was dropping in this video, it's clear that she was not only addressing Eliza, but she was also addressing Raw Ali. Now for those of you who don't know the history between Cardi and Raw, I'll give you a backstory. Ra was the one who allegedly put that huge knot on Cardi's head during Cardi's infamous fight with Nicki Minaj at the Harper's Bazaar event at New York Fashion Week. Ever since Ra allegedly did that, Cardi B has been feuding with her and also Cardi's BFF star Brim has been feuding with Ra as well. So when she saw Eliza hanging out with Ra, it kind of clicked in her head that maybe Ra was up to it, but that wasn't the case at all. Both Eliza and Raw address Cardi B's claims, and this is what they said. Have you DM Offset? So, somebody... <laughs> so, wait, let me finish telling you. They said, yup, damn right, because Eliza was with Ra, and everything Cardi said, all facts pointed to them. She basically was saying what happened to Ra on the boat was karma from Ra putting Eliza up to DM Offset, and Cardi said that's some rapper's baby mom she didn't want to say her name, his name, excuse me, Future. And it, we all made the connection that it was them. What brought that? This is in the comments, but I'm trying to say, I did- Hold on, first of all, first of all. Other than that, I never DM'd him before. So show him to them. Um, I can't let y'all see who all in my DMs, but. Meanwhile, she over here thinking I got something to do. Like, I, what? We are grown as women. Grown as hell and old as hell. And not even that, he didn't even see it. So he how did she? It, it would have said seen. No, it don't. No, not when you reply to her Instagram story. Just open it. But that's not a DM. She wrote on a story. I wrote on a story. Story. It don't say seen. It don't. No. No, but if they, if you open it, it does say no, seen. No, if you reply to something that's in somebody's Insta story, it doesn't say seen. Only if you DM the person. That's not a DM that you put. You reply Does that look like I'm trying to talk to him? Like, come on now. Like, you guys are not slow. Y'all have common sense. He posted his son. It was his son's birthday. And I commented, he's so cute. Sorry, but I want to stop the video briefly right here. Eliza sent this DM to Offset on March 8th, okay? And it wasn't what she would consider a real DM. She was just sharing his story. Now, Offset posted this adorable picture of his son on the same day. March 8th. So Eliza is actually telling the truth. Let's continue. Sweetie. And what day? That April 8th. There's no April, DMs. March 8th. March 8th. I'm sorry. There's no DMs prior or after. So. Okay. Let me get the phone. Yeah, they say it does say seen when you, when they look Oh, it at, does? Yeah, that means he didn't oh. see it. So no, he's she sorry. seen it though. But here's the thing though. I wasn't even here yet. Was I here March 8th? No, he wasn't here. I wasn't even here. <laughs> I don't got nothing to do with nothing. I know not to comment on people. Pope on kid. You could, on. If my man had social media, you could poke, you could comment on his. I don't mind. <clears throat> no, but I didn't have. She said that she d definitely wasn't coming at him like that. But just for the record, she didn't discuss that with me. She didn't talk about it with she me. Didn't I didn't even know anything stuff. about that. Like this right here. I'm saying he can see it, but he didn't he open, it. open it. Yeah. So he knows that you, you sent it. Mm -hmm. He just didn't open it. That's how the right don't say it. Right, right. Child. You lied. Nah, I did it out of spite. Are you guys serious? But you have problems with her? You don't have problems I'm with her? I have problems with her. 
I wasn't even here, y'all. I wasn't even in Miami yet. I got here. What date was the on-site show? The date that you came? I'll tell you right now. Okay. Yeah, bag or not, offset is not my type. Like, I stand by, I don't, listen, I stand by certain shit. Like, listen, if you have a bag and your breast stink, I can't do it. If you have a bag and you miss the teeth out your mouth, I can't do it. If you have a bag and you got plaque all caked up right here, your teeth is turning brown and orange, I can't do it. So, at the end of the day, and if you have a bag and you have a hygiene problem, I can't do it. So, please, with all that bag shit. So you heard that both Raw and Eliza denied what Cardi said, and I do believe them, I do. But Cardi B jumped to conclusions and she assumed that this whole thing was a setup. And I could kind of understand why she would think that because Eliza is an IG model and she's been rumored to mess around with different celebrities. And also she has a messy history with Future. So Cardi assumed that she was trying to start some mess and get with her man Offset. But in actuality, she was replying to an Instagram story saying that his son was so cute. However, Offset interpreted a different way. He thought she was trying to flirt with him. And he showed it to Cardi because she had a verified check by her name and he was curious to know who was this woman replying to his story. And I also think he told Cardi about it to make Cardi believe that he was being honest and faithful because you know Offset has a history of cheating on Cardi with other women. And he never told her about all the women that were in his DMs before, but he told her about it now to reassure her and make her believe that he is a changed man. But is he truly done with his cheating ways? Mm, I don't know. Now, when Cardi saw the DM, she didn't say anything at first, but as soon as she saw Eliza hanging out with Raw, that's when Cardi called her out because Cardi has an issue with Raw and she really thinks Raw is out to get her. So she thought Raw was trying to use Eliza to catch Offset slipping, but that wasn't the case at all. It was a big misunderstanding and Cardi just jumped to conclusions. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!